Today we're going to set up a couple of network adapters on a Raspberry Pi to be a two port bridge. And once I've done that, I'll have a bit of fun doing some packet capturing. Well, first of all, what is a bridge? Well, these days most people think of a network switch. So if you have just a little switch like this, or any switch really, this is essentially an eight port bridge. So you know how switches work, it just uh, bridges Ethernet frames from one port to another. Well, what I'm gonna do is set this up so this is a, a two port switch, if you like, so a bridge. Um, the way I'm gonna do it is keep it separate from its internal NIC, just to make it easier to understand. So think of this as the one that I'll control the Raspberry Pi with, but really what we're gonna focus on are these two here. So when I have uh, a host connected to one, and the other side connected to my normal network, it'll just pass through there the same as it would pass through a couple of ports on a switch. So I'll go through how to set that up on a Raspberry Pi or any Linux box really. Okay, the first thing you've got to do is update the Raspberry Pi because it's a brand new install. Okay, once that's done, you've got to install Bridge Utils. Okay, and while I'm installing things, I'll install TCP dump now because I'm going to use that later when I've got the bridge adapter set up. So just install TCP dump as well. Okay, everything we need is installed. So if we have a look at the adapters, just with IP link, we can see what we've got here. The loopback, of course, the Ethernet, which I'm using at the moment, and uh, wireless LAN, which I'm not using, Ethernet 1 and Ethernet 2. Now there, the USB adapters that I connected, and they're the ones I'm going to set up for a bridge. So, if you just look at the addresses that are on here, again, loopback is loopback. Ethernet, that's the one I'm using. Wireless LAN I'm not using, and these two. So what I want to do now is establish a bridge adapter. So to do that, just go brctl, add bridge, br0. Okay, now, if I look at the adapters, I've got an extra one, this bridge zero. Now that's not doing anything at the moment. What I've got to do is assign some interfaces to that bridge. So what I'm going to do is assign those two USB adapters to that bridge. Okay, so to do that, just do brctl, add interface to bridge zero, and pick the two that you want, or however many you want really. We're going to use these two. Okay, so now if I do IP link, you'll see it looks a bit different. So it's assigned those network adapters to the bridge now. I recently bought a TV. Now, not to watch TV, but just to use as a monitor on the wall here for the uh, computer that's here. But the TV does have a network interface, okay? I never set it up, but what I'll do is I'll set it up today, but I'll set it up through the bridge so I can capture the traffic that goes through there and just see what it's doing. Okay, I'll just have a look at the setup that I've got at the moment before I plug the TV in. And you can see that I've got my subnet here that I'm using on Ethernet Zero is different to the ones that I've got those adapters connected to. That's because I've got a guest network here that I'm gonna put the TV on, because I don't trust it. So I'm not gonna bother removing these IP addresses, they won't really matter. I'm just gonna get ready to do TCP dump on interface bridge zero. I'm gonna to start to capture now, just before I plug the TV in, to get it ready. So I'll actually start two. I'll start one that's saving the file, so tv.pcap. And then I'll just do that again so we can see what comes up on the screen as it's happening. All right, so here goes. I've got one side of the bridge connected to the network. Uh, the bridge is being captured at the moment. So the other side is what I'm going to connect to the TV. All right. We'll see what happens. Okay, there it is. It's found an address and it's probably doing stuff. So let's have a look at the capture and see how that's going. Okay, just having a brief look at the capture as it's happening. I can still see stuff coming in. I can see Netflix, Amazon, of course, and all sorts of stuff. But I had that going when I started that um, connection. Okay, and that's the first time I've ever connected that TV to a network. So I'll have a close look at the capture in Wireshark. So here's the stuff that I captured from that uh, bridge. So to start with, I'll just do DHCP to see, see what it's about, okay? So 
that'll be it there just select that MAC address as a filter so now I can see all the frames that were to do with the TV just to filter the other stuff out and really even before that I can just have a look at uh, DNS and see what it got up to just as a start so first of all yeah, Google it went to Google it went to NIST that'll be to set the time um, Netflix 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 bloody Netflix everywhere okay now I haven't set any Netflix thing up on this I don't care about Netflix but the TV evidently does okay so oh, look at this Alexa oh god got everything okay all this stuff now upgrade hmm upgrade stuff so you can see it's going to oh, geo to find your location no doubt all this stuff just coming in now I'm a little curious of what this Alexa thing is because of course I don't have any of that shit either but there's something here it's got Alexa in the name it's got this tclking.com so I just go to that tclking.com see what happens something may or may not come up oh something's happening oh look Chinese okay so the first thing the TV did was contact China that's lovely okay what else have we got in here if we just have a look at uh, let's find a, use a stream of some sort follow that TCP stream what do we see uh, source secure secure Netflix Netflix Net, uh, TCL King of GoDaddy security oh look at this there's some JSON stuff there for you activate key oh look at this mess I mean this is without doing anything it's a brand new TV I haven't set anything up all I did was plug it in the network and look at this it's just off and running TV render description I mean do they really need this okay so that's how you set up a bridge on a Raspberry Pi basically basically like a two port switch so you can send the traffic through there from a network device in this case I showed the TV but it could be whatever and then uh, because you've got a Raspberry Pi in the middle you can capture the traffic and have a good look at it anyway have fun with that and I'll see you next time okay so there's all the uh, the DH well not DHCP there's every every frame that that trick Fuck me, dude.